My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, this life is so short, so short, you know. And some of us, we've all got our priorities mixed up at times where we are so focused in regard to this world that we forget about the eternal hereafter. A life of infinity versus a temporary short life. According to the words of the Prophet wasallam, a life that is between 60 to 70 years, Allahu Akbar. 60 to 70 years. Let me give you a basic calculation to show how futile this worldly life is. Hypothetically, let's take an individual who has been blessed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with 60 years of life. All right? 60 years of life. Follow this calculation with me. 60 years of life. Hypothetically. But to make the calculation easy, let's go with 8 hours. 8 hours is one third of a day or not. 8 hours is one third of a day. Mathematicians in the house. 8 hours is one third of a day. So basically, you're sleeping one third of 60 years. How many years is that? 20 years. Snoring away. 20 years in sleep. How many years have you got left? 40 years. 40 years. Of which you're not held accountable until you reach puberty. And these days, when do the boys and girls attain puberty with all the genetically modified food and whatnot out there? Shall we keep it at 15 to make the calculation easy? 40 minus 15. How many years have you got left? 25 years. Yes or no? 25 years. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, brunch, supper, your coffee outings and whatnot. How many years shall we minus? 5 years. How many years have you got left? 20 years. Okay, what about the time you're going to spend at work? It's equivalent to the time you sleep. We're not going with an accurate calculation here. Shall we knock off 10 years? Out of the 20 years, you're left with 10 years. Recreational activities. Picnics, trips, time spent with family, friends, hanging out with friends, chilling, whatnot. Yeah. Shall we knock off another 5 years? How many years are you left with? A loose, rough calculation. Five years to invest in that eternal life of the hereafter. Five years to do as many good deeds as possible. Five years to strive for excellence. Five years to leave behind a legacy that resonates of goodness, just as how the Sahaba Ridwan left. Until today we remember Umar al farooq radiallahu anh. Until today we remember Abu Bakr al-Siddiq radiallahu anh. Until today we remember Khalid ibn al-Walid radiallahu anh. Until today we remember Fatima radiallahu anha, Aisha radiallahu anha, Khadija radiallahu anha. We all need to think about our legacies. Many of us, we don't even think about our legacies, you know that? We're all going to leave behind legacies. Whether you like it or not, you're going to leave behind a legacy. A legacy that will be remembered or forgotten. But it is upon you to work towards it. And you have just got five years based on this rough calculation. And that is, if you are blessed with 60 years of life. What if it has been decreed? I mean, you don't know your timeline. All of our timelines are only accessible by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What if your timeline is just 30 years? What if your timeline is 40, 50 and not 60? Allahu Akbar. So don't you think that we need to quit wasting time and work hard? We need to strive hard.